child predator stretches beyond Isle of Wight. Now parents across Hampton Roads are paying more attention. It's a scary thought. A man accused of sexually assaulting a child possibly driving through your neighborhood. Just this week, a parent reported another possible abduction in the Skimino area of York County. And while the sheriff wants the community to be on alert, he is not encouraging vigilante justice. In fact, just the opposite. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox spent the day talking to concerned parents and investigators. Andy, what did they tell you? A lot of concerned parents out there and a lot of parents who don't know what the suspect from Isle of Wight County looks like. They're starting to learn that from 10 on your side. They are concerned and the sheriff's concerned that they don't take matters into their own hands in the event that they do see the suspect. This is a sketch of the suspect believed responsible for the sexual assault on an Isle of Wight County girl. This man's daughter says she saw the same suspect at this intersection on November 12th in York County attempting to get a neighbor's 13-year-old daughter in his car. She saw him at, at a distance, but he drove off. Did, they, did she call the sheriff's office? No, or she, no one was aware of the Isle of Wight thing because they had not seen that composite sketch yet. Neighbors here in the Skimino area of the county know all about the Isle of Wight County case now. Sheriff Danny Diggs is now concerned because he is getting reports of people, not the one we just interviewed, following suspicious cars. We've had a report of where somebody started following a car. You know, all that's kind of fine and dandy if you can keep your distance, but you don't know really who you're following or what, what has precipitated this. Sheriff Diggs is concerned with the fear of this suspect still out there that vigilante justice takes over. Before acting kind of on the spur of the moment or without thinking, they need to think this could escalate way beyond me just following someone. So, you know, are you as a parent, are you armed yourself, ready to defend yourself if, if it comes to that? If you see a suspicious person or vehicle in your neighborhood, this is what Sheriff Diggs wants you to do. But if there's a suspicious car in the neighborhood, record the license plate, take a picture, you know, give us a call. Sheriff Diggs very serious about that. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6, we're going to hear from Sheriff Diggs about a situation he got himself into. He's an experienced law enforcement officer. He gets himself into a situation following a suspicious car. Another reminder that you shouldn't do that. You see something suspicious, call 911, take a picture, get a license plate. I'll have more coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6 in York County. Andy Fox on your side.